I'm the Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com and who's Lloyd Macedo. Uh, date is February 15, 2015. It's a Sunday. The time is 11.55 in the morning. Um, I just want to give you my observations on uh, what I saw on Valentine's Day when I went to a restaurant with my running mate. Um, we were sitting down at uh, uh, the restaurant and we were just eating a post-meal workout after the exercise. And... Uh, you know, just as all commercial businesses take advantage of uh, opportunities that are available with uh, festivals, man-made festivals, whether it could be, um, uh, you know, it could be a Christmas, it could be a New Year, Eid, uh, uh, Holy, or whatever, um, you know, Diwali, or whatever, uh, these festivals that are made by cultures and people. Um, I, uh, I especially have this tendency, or rather this despise for events like which are even more silly like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Brother's Day, Teacher's Day and now you have um, obviously you have uh, the top of uh, all the stupid festivals that is Valentine's Day. Now I don't have a problem with people expressing their love and their feelings for each other on Valentine's Day but however what I feel is despicable is the fact that everyone feels the need to show their so-called love and affection only because everyone else is doing it. And this this turns out to be um, a cavalcade of, uh, uh, you know, trying to outdo each other. I'll give you an example. We were sitting down in this restaurant and this, um, this couple, this couple, a Filipino couple that was sitting um, near the window seat, what they were doing is uh, they had this teddy bear they had this um, iPhone which was put on a stand, a selfie stand, and um, they had roses, and they were posing cheek to cheek and holding the teddy bear, mm, smiling like this, and mm, smiling like that, and mm, smiling like this, and okay, it's all right, but as silly as it looks. And then um, after that, after that got over, he felt the need to show more love and affection. So what he started to do is started feeding this girl with the food on the table. He was actually feeding her. And she was feeding him. And this went on for some time. And, um, and then, you know, when that was not enough, he felt the need to take a sweet, put it in his mouth halfway and put it in her mouth halfway. You know, so to show that uh, whatever I put in my mouth, you put in your mouth also. And um, uh, then after that, they even had um, a, a glass of juice or something where he would sip and he would give her to sip and she would sip and she would give him to sip. So a lot of this mushy mushy stuff and uh, uh, it went on for quite some time and uh, after which they went together, they held hands and if they could hold legs, they would hold legs and uh, they went off. And uh, I was watching these other couples, these other couples were uh, even dressed up the same, some of them were dressed up the same, uh, some of them were... Um, uh, you know, wearing like matching outfits, if you know what I mean. So everyone was trying to do, and uh, there, there was this other couple that bought a cake with their photographs on it and they cut it. And so this was what was happening on Valentine's Day. And outside, everyone was walking with roses and a bunch of flowers and um, teddy bears. And uh, then you'd see groups where couples were there and they were all admiring each other's gifts. So all this is nice. All this is really nice. Uh, however, what I personally feel is this is not love, love per se, if you're talking of love in the deepest sense of the word love. Uh, according to me, uh, this is my definition, all right, you might have a different definition. Love is not just about sex and love is not just about, uh, you know, doing this kiddish stuff of, you know, showing, oh, I love you, see, and even people put on Facebook, I love you, I can't live without you, they write poems, and they're holding each other, kissing each other, I went with my husband, I went with my boyfriend for dinner, that's not love, okay, that's not love, that's a display of affection. Now, if you're actually talking about real love, if you're really talking about love, I, I think, uh, according to your love is the things that you do together to support each other as friends, it's kind of a responsibility, something that is not so romantic, but something that involves doing things for each other, caring about each other genuinely without having the need to show it publicly or make a facade out of it. Uh, these uh, gimmicks that they have, this chocolates and flowers and teddy bears, it's all a whole load of bullshit, you know. Um, if you really love someone, it's, uh, it's about sacrifice. It's about 
wanting the person to grow, wanting the person to become better, wanting the person to um, improve, you know. Um, it's, it's about caring for each other in a very genuine manner without having these gimmicks being passed around. And if you do have love and affection being displayed, I think you should do it quietly. You don't have to start locking lips publicly and wagging your tongue in each other's throat and uh, letting the whole world know that, yes, you know, we are making out publicly for everyone to see. I even went to Dubai Mall and I saw this, this guy standing with his back on the wall and this girl coming and, you know, feeling his cheeks and saying, baby, you know, for my baby and, ah, oh, come on, man. So, uh, stupidity. And I'm not talking of kids. I'm talking of grown-ass adults, okay? So, uh, this is all bullshit and uh, um, I just think that people need to grow up. Um, yes, we do have our childishness. Even I have my moments where I'm childish. Uh, but... You know, just doing something just to keep the world happy and just to show everyone else and just to fall for peer pressure is stupid. And if you're doing it just because everyone else is doing it, it loses its meaning. It loses its its freshness and its originality. So this is what I feel. Valentine's Day is all out bullshit. And most of the companies there are making a hell lot of money with people's ignorance, overcharging them with drinks and overcharging them with food, which I, I think money can be spent in much better ways for more productive things. So these were my observations for Valentine's Day, which I found was a whole lot of nonsense. And um, I think uh, now people are going to be a little quiet because now they don't need to show affection in public. And maybe next day again, they're going to say, do the same nonsense once again. So Lloyd from LloydMasita.com and who's LloydMasita.com signing off and giving you his views on the bullshit called Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye.